Welcome back to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights 2 Original Campaign. This is Big Los. We are inside Lord Nasher's castle. And we were automatically equipped with the ceremonial sword of Neverwinter. And also this Neverwinter Knights cloak. And they're decent equipment, but I believe the equipment that we had previously was much better. So we're gonna put that back on and then we're gonna go invisible so we're not attacked by these vampires. And it, as you remember from last episode, these vampires and wraiths stormed into my knighting ceremony, started attacking everybody, and then the alarm went off. So now I'm going to try to cast silence on this particular elite vampire. This guy is the most dangerous out of all the enemies here because he's a spellcaster. He casts prismatic spray. He can stun you. He can daze you. And then you cannot attack while you have those status ailments. And you are at a particular disadvantage when that happens. Alright, so let's go and try to surprise this guy. We're going to try to take this guy out first. He is the most dangerous out of everybody. Now, when anyone else dies, and I don't mean the enemy, one of the guards would die, they will turn into a raid So. If they manage to kill all the guards, they're going to have a ton of race to deal with. Alright, so we're almost there. As soon as this guy is gone, we can deal with the rest of the enemies fairly easily. Now, it looks like the other vampire was killed off by Naval and the other guards. Now, Naval can't die. They set him up so that he can't during this battle. So he can take as much damage as can be dealt out and nothing will happen to him. Now these other guards, however, they can be killed. Looks like we got one guard who hasn't been killed yet. And it looks like these race can't touch me. This seem to give pretty good experience in my level, though. 43 points. We need to reach a more defensible location. There is a guard room in the hall around the corner from here. There we can make our stand. To the guard room. Follow me. Whatever you say, man, but before we do that, we are going to pick up all these bags of treasure. Don't want to have this stuff lying around. So we got a, a crafting component. There's this thing called a peasant dynasty, which is a comma. We can't use it, so there's no point in even looking at it. We got a trap. We got gold. We got a scroll. Some gold. We got a gem. And we got some more gold. Okay. So what's going on here on the other side of this gate? Okay, we can see the Shadow Reaver in there battling Lord Dasher and several other Neverwinter guards. Hopefully they can hold out while we go try to get in there from another direction. Now, if you try to unlock these gates, it'll just say the door's sealed shut and there's no way to open it. Okay, now let us go down this hall, and then we're going to make a left here. And then we're going to go straight ahead through this open door, and here's Naval. Everyone into the guard room now, quickly! The castle has been sealed. It is part of the ancient defenses of the castle should it ever be attacked, something we thought would never happen. Unfortunately, it has cut us off from Lord Nasher. You must get to him or all is lost. If he's in danger, I'll go at once. Good. Look behind the tapestries in the hall. One of them should hold an entrance to Neverneath, the chambers beneath Castle Never. Neverneath has always been closed to us, but it is said when the castle is in danger, a path opens for defenders of Neverwinter. Make your way to Lord Nasher's side. We will try to be there as soon as the defenses are lifted. 
Go to the hall and look behind the tapestries there. One should hold the entrance to Neverneath, and the only way to reach Lord Nasher. Now go! Okay, so now we know what to do. We have to go find a particular tapestry that hides the entrance to Neverneath. And if you talk to this guy, he can heal you up. And if you've taken a lot of damage trying to get there, you can always come back here and get healed up. But for right now, we are going to go through this door on our right. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to buff up using these potions that we've been saving up. So some bark skin and some bull strength. Let's see, some bears endurance should do it. What else can we do? Let's put on the haste with this potion of speed. Let's do this potion of bless. A potion of aid. And finally, a potion of invisibility. Now we have an invisibility ring, which allows us to go invisible three times per day, but it's probably just easier just to drink the potion. Now when you come in here, these guys will automatically attack you unless you're invisible, so it's best to go in invisible, and then you can go up to the Shadow Priest and get a whole bunch of sneak attacks on him, and then you can deal with the wraiths afterwards. For some reason, the Shadow Priests do more damage to you than these wraiths can. Maybe it's because I'm wearing a greater amulet of health, and it makes me immune to ability drinks and level drain as well. I think that's the only type of damage that these guys can do. Alright, so we got a scroll of Mordekind and Sword, and Morningstar plus two, and some ice bullets. Now before we go into this door, we're going to want to put on invisibility once again. The reason for that being is because there are a couple vampires in here, and they are actually pretty difficult. This entire level is very, very challenging because you only have one person to get through it with. So once you become visible, make sure you concentrate on one of the vampires. I like to go after this guy with the axe because the other one will attempt to put buffs on him him or her self, whoever it is, while well, we get a chance to get a whole bunch of attacks on this one barbarian vampire. I think he's a barbarian. And now we can go and take care of this female, it looks like. I didn't want to be prejudiced because she had long hair, but it looks like she has some breasts too, so I guess it is a female. Alright. See, now if you go in invisible, then they aren't that challenging. But if you just walk in here, then they can put stunning on you, and it's it gets a lot harder. Okay, it looks like I forgot to put invisibility before I came through that threshold. We didn't get our spot check until we came through to see the shadow fleets. One of the important things about being visible is that you have sneak attacks. So let's drink another one. Get all that gold. And now you can't see me, but now you can after I've attacked you. And we got one more Shadow Priest to deal with. And these guys summon shadows, but. At this point, shadows don't really do a lot of damage. Alright. It looks like all my buffs are starting to wear off now. So we get this wand of missiles. Maybe I can give it to one of my spellcasters after all this is said and done. And we got a scroll of raised dead, and this must be the tapestry. So once we attack it, it disappears, and now we have a secret door, which leads to Neverneath. So let us enter. Alright, here we go. 
Looks like the enemy hasn't made it down into these catacombs. I, I'm guessing they're catacombs. And we got a statue up here. So, the statue actually talks. We're approaching the sepulcher of Lord Never. So this is basically a quiz that these statues are going to ask you. They're going to ask you some questions and you're going to have to get the question right in order to advance. Now I think that you can get it wrong and then answer it again, but I think if you answer it correctly the first time, every time, then you get a little nice surprise at the end. Now these guys like to cast magic missiles, so I like to cast silence on them. Fortunately, my used magic device failed. Once again, so let's try it again. Actually, let's use this blast globe. Yeah. If they're ice methods, they should be weak against fire. There goes another one. Alright, looks like we only got one treasure bag, so let's just run it in, grab the gem, and then just move forward. Alright, no more treasures. Let's advance into the next room and talk to this statue. Okay, so how many loyal servants does Neverwinter have? That would be nine, as in the Neverwinter nine. Okay. And we get 200 XP for getting that question right. And now we got a bunch of fire methods in this hall to deal with. So do we have anything interesting with which to deal with them? Well, I don't see any spells we can really use. I mean, fire methods don't really cast a lot of spells. So there's really no point in casting silence. Let's try to cast sleep on them with this wand. Okay, it looks like I got at least one of them, so I'm gonna have to take care of the rest. Alright. Now we'll do a coup de grace on this guy. Okay. Didn't leave any treasures, so I guess we'll just continue onwards. And you'll see that these doors on the side here won't let you in. They're just there for show. So you just have to follow the path that you're given. Okay, so that's an easy one. What's the name of the lake beside Neverwinter? That's Black Lake. We get another 200 XP for answering that correctly. Now we get down here and some ice methods spawn. So let's try to use another silence on them. Okay, looks like my using magic device was a success. And looks like at least one of the ice methods failed to save. All the rest of them cast magic missile on me. Oh, looks like I'm silenced now too. Okay, we've got a healer's kit and a potion of cures, serious wounds. And then that's about it. Now we got another statue to deal with. Were I an enemy and never winner, where would I be buried? That's easy, in the Tomb of the Betrayers. Remember we did two episodes on that earlier? And then we fought Fenthic, whoever that was. Okay, looks like we got some more fire methods. 
What should we use? Hmm, how about a Wand of Fear? See if that causes any of them to be afraid of me. Actually, it looks like a, quite a few of them they did affect. Well, it looks like they're taking off. Those guys leaving treasure bags? You know, you're right to be very afraid of me. And no, this door won't open. Did those guys leave a treasure bag? No, doesn't look like it. Alright, let's talk to this other statue. State the more common name for the Artery of Neverwinter. Um, I'm guessing the Neverwinter River, even though I've never seen it. And that's the correct answer. So we get another 200 XP. So let's just move forward. And now we have a combination of ice and fire methods. Let's see if this sound burst works. Oh, my used magic device failed again. So I guess we might as well just go back to the Wand of Fear. Now, I don't know if any of them actually failed their save, so we'll see. Yeah, it looks like at least one of them did. Yeah, it looks like some of them had just stopped in their tracks. Meanwhile, we're being swarmed by these little guys. And we got three of them who won't do anything. And one of them is running away. Let's pick up these treasure bags. Bullets, useless. Six gold. Nine gold. And then we got one more fire method in here. Time for a bit of a game. And doesn't look like he's gonna leave a treasure bag, so let's just go over here and talk to the statue. Where might an enemy of Neverwinter find a map of our city? Say nothing. That's the correct answer. A friend of Neverwinter would never reveal a map to its enemies, which gives us another 200 XP. And this room is surprisingly free of methods, so we can just go on to the next statue and talk to him. How many gates must one pass through from Neverwinter's Harbor to her castle? The correct answer is three. Now, I always thought it was two to go between two districts, but apparently the answer is three. So I guess there is another gate in front of the... I'm guessing the academy, like when you go up that hill. Now we got another statue that's... Asking me to declare my loyalty to Neverwinter. So if you declare your loyalty, you become more lawful. But if you lie and say it, you become more chaotic. And both answers are correct, and you get 200 XP. And now we're entering a mausoleum here with Lord Never in the middle. And then it's surrounded by nine animated swords. And all of these statues describe each of the original Neverwinter 9. Now the proper way to do this, to get in here, and if you answer all the questions correctly, the swords will not turn against you. Now if you approach from the wrong direction, they will turn against you, but if you go all the way to the north, and then approach from the north, then you have correctly solved the puzzle and the swords will not attack you and instead will disappear and then you will be rewarded with an extra item within Lord Nasher's crypt I guess and I think another way to do it is to 
equipped a ceremonial sword. But I could be mistaken, but I, I'm just going to do it anyway. And now we got a magic sword, the blessing of the Daystar, and the Rod of Never. And those animated swords disappear. Okay. And we have to give the Rod of Never to the Lord of the Castle. And we get a thousand XP for solving the puzzle. And now we have a bunch of treasure chests that we can loot. Okay, so what is this? This load is a bit of a strain. Okay, so we got some mirrored armor. That's kind of like the mirrored shield with spell resistance. Now let's put all these gems and other items that we're not going to use right now into the bag of holding. We'll give those crafting components to Quora later. We're not going to use that cloak. I could probably give it to Xiavi. She really doesn't have a good cloak to use right now. Okay, we don't need that. And this Blessing of the Daystar gives a... Uh, I guess it's a holy weapon. Gives bonus against evil, and it's a plus five versus undead. Okay, I think that's about it. Oh yeah, that gem too. Yeah, this rod of number, we're gonna have to give that to Lord Nasher. Let's check out this other treasure chest over here. And if you put on search mode, you'll see that, indeed, this chest is trapped. It's a poison trap, if I do recall. It's a gas trap. And then we get a scroll, some holy water, choking powder, and a potion. And over here we get hide plus one armor and three fire Agates. Now I thought I would be able to cast that spell with my use magic device. Alright, let's try to recover this trap now. Ooh, sonic damage. Hope that didn't make my ears bleed. Oh, we got 6,266 gold pieces. That's pretty good. I would have preferred that we would have gotten a rare gem like a Belgeril or a King's Tear. Okay, we got a Wizard's Ally Dagger. And in here we get a Scroll of Acid Fog. So this wizard's ally gives bonus spells and spell resistance 14. Oh, and Lord Never says as you're leaving that Gaivin will be interested in hearing about this place. How do you know who Gaivin is, Lord Never? Okay, looks like we're actually pretty close to gaining another level too. So let's Go on up here. This Shadow Reaver may seem a difficult foe, but hold your ground! And reinforcement shall be here soon. Alright, just hang in there, man. I'm almost here. Let's take this opportunity to go with Ethereal. Ethereal is kind of like invisibility, except you're now on the Ethereal Plane. Now, unfortunately, you can't walk through walls like you normally would in regular d and I wonder why they didn't put that in here. That would've been cool. Alright, now we'll just attack the Shadow Reaver. And then he knocks us all down. But we're not dead. Assassins. 
They sent assassins here. So this is how this enemy fights with shadows instead of cold steel. Yeah, that's how they do it. Are you alright? I am unharmed. Though I should see to the men stationed on the walls and in the keep. This King of Shadows. His forces are powerful. Is that the Rod of Never you carry? Let me see it. I had heard the Rod rested below, but none have been able to enter Lord Hallowes' tomb. It seems the ancient alarms of the keep open the way. With this rod, I should be able to open some of Castle Never's oldest secrets. It seems some good has come from this surprise attack. I think this enemy fears to face us on the field of battle. He fears to face Neverwinter and all its knights. And that now includes you. You have earned this through your deeds. The title of Knight in Service to Neverwinter. Oh, well, what must I do? My lord, there are certain rights for inducting knights that must be... Naval. I knighted you at Red Fellow's Watch in the mud with orcs surrounding us. Ceremonies can wait. Now bow and be knighted. A knight of Neverwinter is entitled to land, a keep, and forces, my lord. And he shall have them. But you, knight captain, and your efforts here, you have served Neverwinter beyond the call of duty, risking your life not once, but several times without hesitation. If there is anything that I think will be the light against this shadow that comes against us, it is you and the fortress I have granted you. I offer you an honor. To become one of the Neverwinter Nine, the protectors of Neverwinter, the surrounding lands, and most importantly, its people. What lands of gold does the title convey? Precious little, Knight Captain. You will find that service is its own reward. Naval is right. While the title carries much, you will find little time to spend it. Well, if there's more to be had with the new title, I'll take it. Very well. For your efforts at Crossroad Keep, and your battles against these minions of shadow, I convey upon you the mantle of one of the Neverwinter Nine. And a much-deserved title it is, Knight Captain. We welcome you into our ranks. But on to the matters at hand. You have done more to halt this beast's advance than any of my knights. When he strikes, you are there to counter it, but that is no longer enough! I am tired of waiting for this enemy to strike. I want you to find this King of Shadows. I want this beast to answer for the blood of every guardsman slain here tonight. If he crosses Neverwinter again, I want it to be the last time. To the servants of Neverwinter here before me, all fighting men of Neverwinter must take to the field to face this foe. You have seen one of its servants, and as terrible as it may seem, it can be beaten, and so can our enemy. You must spread the word. Help your neighbors to evacuate their homes as we fortify the walls of Neverwinter. We cannot allow our people to be placed in jeopardy. We alone must face this threat. Go now, and do what you can to prepare for the coming battle. And so a strategy must be formed. These Reavers, whatever these things of shadow are, there is no way the Grey Cloaks can fight them. If our enemies cannot be killed... They are pawns only. Powerful, yes, but not the true threat. The base that the enemy is striking from. If we cannot reach it, then we cannot take the battle to him. He can send his soldiers out without fear of counterattack, and there is nothing we can do but fall back. Even if these ruins could be reached, we still need more men. Between the plague and the war with Luskin... Then we will gather more men, but not just men. This enemy threatens not just us. We must make allies, and we must do so quickly. There is much to be done, I think. But I have faith in your efforts. It is said that the captain of Crossroad Keep is the lord of the manor in all but name. Now I've named it for you. But it will not be enough. I am in need of answers, information, and as many soldiers as you can gather. I need to know how these Shadow Reavers can be killed and how I can reach their master. And we need allies wherever they can be found, from all the races, all the peoples. This is not our war, it is theirs, whether they know it or not. 
How can I find out how to defeat the Shadow Reavers? We asked the enemy. We still have some of the Arcane Brotherhood in our dungeons. Let them provide us with answers. See to it. There must be some way to reach the King of Shadow's stronghold. My lord, I believe Aldenon is already searching for a means by which we can reach the King of Shadow's stronghold. Half the task will be him finding it, and the second task will be trying to understand him when he explains it. Where could allies be found? There are... old alliances that Neverwinter had years ago, in the days before I took the crown. I need you to reforge these alliances. Without more troops, this battle is already lost. A clan of dwarves, the Iron Fist clan, is said to have returned to their clan hold in Old Owl Well after the pass was liberated by Neverwinter. Perhaps they would be grateful enough to aid us in the coming battle. But we cannot count on them being able to join the effort. And even so, there is still the matter of the King of Shadows. What about the lizard men? The lizard men of the mare? What of them? Will they fight for us? Let's see. We're being attacked by the King of Shadows as well. Why not? I do not think any lizard man would be quick to come to the aid of Neverwinter, even if we could speak with them. Yet, if they would join us, they know the terrain, perhaps even know about more of the movements of the King of Shadows through the mirror. If you think you can contact them and persuade them to help us, then may the gods smile upon you. Such allies might give us the edge we need. Let's see. Did we miss anything else? Let me check again. My lord, I believe Aldenon is... Half the task will be him oh, finding we've it. heard this there already. There are... I need you to a clan of two, but we cannot count on them being able to join the effort. No, it looks so, like we did everything. Is, then I shall leave you both to these preparations. I must attend to the troops and the war effort. You are to attend to the King of Shadows. Of all our knights, no one has a greater chance of finding his weakness than you. I shall gather our forces, but you must show me where we must march. Return to Crossroad Keep and begin preparations. Naval will go to assist you, and he will remain there as long as needed. Now, go! Alright, so will we be able to reforge these old alliances to help defeat the King of Shadows? Will we be able to convince the dwarves? of the Iron Fist clan to help us? And what about the Lizardmen? Find out next time. This is Big Los, signing off. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode. And, tenga un buen día.